Well, happy Christmas. It is the 25th today, and uh, we get the Bizonte. <laughs> this thing is useless. Do not buy this thing, okay? It is so bad, especially that it's only worth for real money. Like, I, I honestly don't know what to say about it. It has no DPM, even with food, and if you use vents as well, which you can't put a gun rammer on this thing, so this is as good as you're going to get. About 10 seconds for 360 alpha. Bear in mind, of course, that is when you go all the way down to the last shell. So to start off with, you're going to be waiting 15 seconds, then 13, and then 10. Yeah. So that means 38 seconds to load the full clip. It's just not good. It, it really isn't. It doesn't have a dispersion. Um, 0.37 base. Um, you're going to need V-stab on this thing because it doesn't get good dispersion values. And then for the final one, I mean, you're probably going to want to choose either IRM or improved aiming, to be quite honest with you. Either of them are going to help you out because, as I said before, dispersion values aren't good. Um, and also the uh, actual accuracy of the tank is not that good either. So, yeah. And if you're not using food, it's even worse. So, hmm. I mean, you could also put in optics if you really wanted to. But even if you're not going to use food, 420 meters is fine for a heavy tank, to be quite honest. So I would rather put it into IRM or something like that. For field mods on this tank, uh, I mean, all terrain suspension to try and get you to move a little bit faster. Um, obviously, the dispersion values need to go down. So parallax aiming adjustment or parallax adjustment. And then view range. And uh, 433 meters view range. So, I mean, even with food, you're then over that threshold of the 445 meters of the spotting detection range. So it's okay in that respect. And then you can choose mobility or firepower. So you could choose mobility and then you get a little bit more for your IRM or you could choose firepower and get a little bit more for your V-stab, which I would probably go with. Although to be fair, it probably needs the IRM more than the V-stab because of the fact that it um, increases the traverse speed and turret traverse and stuff like that. Actually, you know what? No real point of choosing mobility is there because iron works with firepower as well, doesn't it? So there you go. But yeah, that's like as good as you're going to get it. It's not worth putting a turbo on it because you need IRM and you need V-stamp and you need vents. Um, yeah. I mean, the only other thing is improved aiming, which will get it down to manageable kind of dispersion values. But still, it's going to bloom out a lot. So yeah, that's the Bizonte. It's not worth it. How much are they even asking for? £32? No. 39 if you want the skin as well. What the? Nah. Nah. No. Don't do it. Literally every other heavy tank is pretty much better than that. The armor values on the Bizonte are great and that's about it. That's the only redeeming feature on the Bizonte. It has good armor, completely useless gun. That's my final thoughts on it. So I hope you all have a very, very good Christmas or just a good holiday season. Um, have a nice break from working and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you all in the new year because this is going to be the last video until the new year. I still haven't decided whether it's going to be me on the 3rd. I'll make a new video on the 3rd and then start off again fresh in the new year. Or if it's going to be the 10th. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the 3rd because I'll end up getting bored eventually and <laughs> want to make a video. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a very, very good Christmas and a happy new year. And I'll see you all in the new year.